with just three years of age. She moved from the Ukraine to Azerbaijan and competed for Ukraine in the 2014 World Championships in Bremen. She was born in Odessa, Ukraine. But she's been embraced by Azerbaijan as she has now become an Olympic silver medalist. What an important move that was for her. Sylvia Cimarero, her philosophy, when she faces an opponent as strong and as strong as she is, or even stronger, and that simply makes her more determined. From Faziano in Tavana, in the southeast of Italy. Great front hand there. Yakutsuki. Looks the, the score being opened. Severero has won five Karate One Premier Leagues. She was a bronze medalist in the Under-21 World Championship. She was a world champion as a junior. Zereska leads by Ayuko. She also has now the Senchu to go with it. The yellow dot that you see. So Semenero makes an attack. Tactics, Davide. I would like to see clear technique, uh, Billy. Is some technique is very dirty. Dirty is not clean. Referees has problem to recognize a good technique. Good distance, good technique, good point, usually. Yeah? And the referee here is Mansour al Sultan of Q8. And I think it's important to mention that some of these referees are also Olympic referees, and Mansour al Sultan is one of those illustrious referees who made it to Tokyo. Both fighters going in at the same time. And the punches flying in from all angles. The referee decided he's going to warn both fighters for making excessive contact there must only be skin touch yes also when the distance is so close to punch the face it's difficult to have a good control and they are arguably too close to score because the part of the criteria is they have to have correct distance be too far away can also be too close That was a no. That was sufficient to get the flags out. And that's going to be another point to Arina Zaretska. Arina Zaretska is the defending world champion. Yes. Good but that points. was a great three point score from Sylvia Severero. She's leveled the scores, brought herself back into this match with that Ippon. The only difference now, the century held by Arena Zaretska. This is it going to be a tough 30 seconds, David. Eh? Yes. We have a video review for Zaretska. Now, this could be a crucial call also from the coach's point of view. Look at that fantastic hooking kick right in the back of the head. So the coach could lose the card if he's incorrect, and he is incorrect. So that, that he could rule that decision. It's 30 seconds still to go, and he's now lost the card. He can't call for a video review. Simarero is still putting pressure on the current world champion, Zaretska, into the last 
15 seconds or so we go. There's Adriana Mawashi, but she stumbles down to the floor. There is a video review call this time from the coach of Sylvia, Sir Severino. Maybe, you know, Billy. No, no, it's before the tackling. No, no, it's before. This is the, this is the tackling. Yeah. Is... In my opinion, the first could be. Well, that punch that she moved in. She was stretching to start with, but her body closed in tighter, potentially for the, for the score. We'll have to wait and see what has made of it, and it isn't so neither coach now has any more options for the video review. We're into the last 12 seconds of the attack there from Severo. Zareska still trying to defend herself. Severo putting her under pressure. She needs to get that front hand going or score. Just one point to win or force the error and get into a hand play decision. She's only one second left to do it. She's got to come off the line and attempt to score. And did she? Very, very close indeed. And the coach thought that there was a score. But there's no card available. And it is the end of the round. It's gone down to zero. Marina Zaranska. She takes her second consecutive world title, defeating Silvia Simarero of Italy. 3 3 score. The only difference being the century. Wow. Very tight match that David. Very tight that match. It was almost that, that last Suki from Simarero. Yes. That last punch. Had the card still been available, it would have been a great match for yes. wouldn't it? But uh, the punch was clear and I don't know why the referees didn't react. It was not a, an unclear technique. Well, this was a, a flurry of exchanges earlier on. Now whether they felt that that had passed and that's why they didn't go for the score. No, this is 20 seconds. No, 